Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons. And today I got a problem from one of my subscribers and here is a problem. If a bacteria is given 60 minutes to fill the half of the cup, then how much time it takes to fill the complete cup, bacteria undergoes fission every 20 minutes. Some people overcomplicate this problem, thinking that different approaches might exist here. For example, if this is going to be time and this is going to be quantity, at the beginning we may have rapid growth and that it would slow down. Uh, another approach can be uh, that uh, at the beginning we have very few uh, bacteria and uh, that's why it would uh, at the beginning the growth would be very slow and then would be very rapid. Uh, another approach would be uh, that at the beginning we have very slow growth, then in the middle we have fast growth and then it slows down one more time. And uh, one more approach would be uh, when over the time the growth would be uh, constant. So uh, which one to choose? And uh, here is uh, how we are going to solve this problem. So in order to give you an answer, I want to give you visual presentation of this problem. And um, I took Petri dishes that is square, because some people also may uh, consider that uh, shape of the dish have something to do and influence on our calculations. So basically what we are told, uh, we are told that at the 60 minutes we have uh, half of our dish uh, occupied with uh, bacteria colonies. So this is uh, 60 minutes in time. And uh, I'm going to use reverse engineering in order to show you uh, what happened before uh, we reach this period. So when time was 40 minutes, because bacteria doubles uh, every 20 minutes, double uh, its quantity and uh, the size of the colony also would double. So um, 20 minutes ago we had only half the size of the colony of the bacteria. So what we had at uh, 20 minutes uh, in time progress, so we had half uh, the number of what we have at 40 minutes. So here we have only uh, two cells occupied by bacteria and in time zero minutes when we inoculated uh, this uh, petri dish displayed with bacteria, bacteria occupied one cell. So as you see, bacteria um, didn't start with single bacteria. It's actually occupied one sixteenth of the petri dish. So as you see, we have square four by four and at time zero, bacteria occupied uh, one sixteenth of the plate. Or in other words, we can say that this is 6.25% of the surface of the plate. At the time 20 minutes, bacteria occupied 2 out of, out of 16, so 1 8. And uh, this gives us 12.5% uh, of the surface of the petri dish. At 40 minutes, bacteria occupied uh, 4 out of 16, or 1 quarter of the surface, or in other words, 25% of the petri dish. At 60 minutes, as you see, occupation uh, of the surface by bacterial colonies is one half or 50 percent and uh, this gives us information that in uh, another 20 minutes when time would be 80 minutes uh, 
uh, we would have a full dish occupied with bacteria. So in another 20 minutes we expect that uh, the whole petri dish would be occupied with bacteria and this is going to be uh, 1 of 1 or 100 percent. So once again here we had one cell, here we have two cells, four cells here, eight cells and sixteen. So you see uh, the progress and uh, this is very easy how to solve this problem and as you see uh, this graph would be the best representation uh, and uh, would give us an answer to this problem. So uh, of course uh, this is uh, idealized uh, variant when um, nutrients is not limiting factor for the growth of the bacteria but in reality uh, when bacteria reach uh, large size uh, bacteria growth usually slows down but according to our problem today this is not an issue and the correct answer would be that uh, in 20 minutes period the full plate would be 100% would be occupied with bacteria colony. This is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. Thumbs up if you like this video. Please write your comments, questions if you have any. And see you in the next video. Goodbye.